Hey friends, you may have seen me before I started the dev tips thing. I forgot I, I had that open. Um, okay, cool. So today I thought I would just show you something really quick. Um, it's this get cap thing. So this is a Mac specific uh, Mac OS thing, but I'm sure there's a really good one for Windows. Uh, I'm, I'm not really specifically calling out the app as much as I am calling out the um, um, like the idea of using a tool like this. Um, but anytime you make a significant code change, my dev tip for you today is to um, make a GIF to prove that things are still working or to show the uh, the before and after. Uh, so like, for example, if I were working on my new tab page, this palette tab thing that I have, um, and I were to make a change to how this animation works or something, um, then like I could potentially break something or um, or maybe I just want to show the, the new behavior uh, or the before and after. So what I uh, would do is I'd open up Cap or whatever um, screen recording app that you have um, on your computer. And then we can do a whole bunch of different like recording things here. But I could, if I just click on this, oh, whoops, haha, <laughs> it's over here. Let me not click on that really quick. Um, uh, oh, I lost it. Dang it. Oh, I don't know what's going on here. This is kind of annoying. Discard that thing. Okay, we're back. And now I click on this um, and a little thing should show up somewhere. What the, I mean, um, huh, come on, where is this thing? Okay, this isn't going so well. This thing is appearing in the wrong spot and everything is just going nuts. Click on that. Click on this. And it's recording over here. Anyway, uh, you just drag this thing around to where you want it to go. And then we record and that thing shows up and now you're recording. You're like, sweet. Okay. I made this change and it's doing this thing. Uh, you don't want it to record for too long though. So uh, you'll turn it off. And then you're brought to this little editor view screen. So you just drag this over to wherever um, you're starting to do your thing. Cause you want to keep it as short as possible. Otherwise you can't upload it to GitHub because it only has so much uh, time. Uh, but you don't want it to be too short cause then people will not be able to see what's going on. So there we go. Sweet. And then uh, I, I actually sometimes will um, divide this in half. Um, because it like I'm on a retina screen. Well, I'm on a 4k display, but I, I'm um, Just like a lot of pixels and I don't need it to be so many pixels um, So if there's anything you can do to shorten the or, or make it smaller. It's good uh, And then we can just export it as a gif. This does take some time um, But uh, yeah, this thing popped up over here it has just this little exporting thing. And sometimes it takes like a very, very long time um, to fully export it. But once it's exported, then you can just click and drag it into an issue comment or something. And um, and then you can uh, get it, uh, like people can watch your thing rather than having to download the um, your pull request and run the app themselves and whatever, which we all know they're not going to do. Um, so yeah, here we go, we've got this thing save to my desktop Ta -da. we've got a gif and then you can just drag it uh, click and drag that gif so like i said this is mac only um but the, i'm sure there are really good apps like this that you can use um for uh windows or whatever um more like the tip more today isn't like use this app it's great it's more use a gif as a mechanism for uh, proving that your stuff doesn't break the app um, and showing a before and after, because that's really, really nice. Um, so again, as people are still asking, this Chrome extension is called Palette Tab, and you can go find it at palettab.com. It's really cool. Enjoy it. All right, cool. Sorry about all the confusion with my computer freezing up, and I don't know. This is the hazards of live streaming. But before you complain about me live streaming and tell me to record my stuff, I will, I don't have time to record and edit and upload and everything. This is why I live stream is because it's so fast. If I didn't live stream, I wouldn't do anything. So, um, 
you, you get what you pay for, I guess. I'm sorry. Um, but hopefully it's helpful. I want it to be helpful. And uh, I will see you later. Bye.